we have two events in the timeline which are not synchronized I've added uh, in the video I've made two videos each of one with an iPad and you can see from the counter on the iPad that one is a 504 the other is a 507 so the two tracks are not synchronized now let me uh, resize the first video in order to show you the effects of the synchronization okay. and this way really you could also synchronize by uh, moving the events and not relying on the automated system but anyway uh, here to show you how to use the automated system so go to tools multi camera synchronize audio to align events as you can see this video is uh, uh, maybe two minutes long and i think it will take about one minute to synchronize so i'm not really happy about the performances of the software and uh, it could be useful for very short tracks but uh, i wonder if i put like one hour video uh, if it will take like 30 minutes to synchronize the audio i think it would be too long so uh, at the end i'll show you a way to synchronize by moving the events on the timeline and uh, as you already seen uh, uh, reducing the size of one video track lets you uh, see in both video tracks so if you do the check at the beginning of the video this way having one video that is smaller than the other and inside and you should do it on the video that is higher uh, on the levels in order to see them both so this way having two video on the same preview uh, output you can synchronize by moving the events on the timeline let's wait until you finish i told you it was very very uh, slow in the process of synchronizing i've seen uh, it, it looks fairly accurate for what i've tried so far so a couple of tests i've done yesterday and today so it's very accurate but it's very very slow and it doesn't seem to get any advantage when you do the synchronization by moving the video tracks and then you ask the software to complete the job uh, maybe it will like uh, test all the audio tracks and then build something and compare all the, the tracks okay here we are in order to see if it's uh, correctly synchronized i'll move where okay you can see i'll move the uh, the cursor one frame by one frame until when okay you can see here it's one i move by one frame it's between one and zero on both the video events so uh, it's successfully synchronized and the software did a good job and now let's see how fast would it be doing it manually so let's say we want to synchronize the two tracks manually so i will desynchronize the tracks that have been so slowly synchronized by the software so i'll move the first one you can see we have about 10 seconds and here because we have the two ipads uh, actually the same ipad with the, the timing it's very easy to move the track and find the right synchronization and also you can use the the trick of going where the frame changes from the number changes from one to another so from five to six and then you you synchronize by moving and you move not this but the other one synchronize again synchronize by moving and you move here it was when it changed from five to six so this way it should be perfectly synchronized again let's see the transition between 
1551, we have seen it uh, with the two numbers overimposing each other. And here we are. Uh, you can see it's perfectly synchronized. But let's say you have done a check and you want synchronized by the check you've done. Here I know that uh, I've done four checks, so I go by solo with the first track and I've found the point where the check is. Let me lower the volume. Okay. The first is here. And let me try a clean one. Because, because the problem with the hands is you never know when they actually touched. Okay, hey, it seems a good counterpoint. So now we do the same thing we've done before. I can see by the waveform, which by the way can be increased in size by pressing shift plus uh, the hop button uh, keyboard in the keyboard so i move the second track more or less where it should be this the chuck the four chuck and again synchronized by moving and let me say yes, uh, that it should be the first point first and second okay let's try second and the same thing here, synchronize by moving, and let's try second. Okay, and let's see, it seems fairly accurate, and the test will be done by going any point. We have already seen that four, between 450 and 51, there should be a point with the number between 0 and 1. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, and it worked perfectly. So you can see that we spend like uh, uh, half the time related to the length of the video track to synchronize automatically and like 20 30 seconds to synchronize manually. It's up to you to choose and I suggest you use the automatic synchronization only for short tracks or when you didn't do the check. Thank you for everything and sorry for my English, sorry for being a little bit slow, it's like my first uh, tutorial in English, so please be patient with me and leave any comment or any question. Bye!